Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna do a comparison. I know you like those. Um, yeah. Again, a Epiphone Gibson comparison, and this time it will be to SG guitars. It'll be the Epiphone S, sorry, not S, G400. And by the way, no one has given me any clear answers why they are called G something, the Epiphone range. Why aren't they called SG? like it says even on the headstock the G400 Pro their uh, version of a standard SG and this one a Gibson brand new Gibson SGJ or SG Junior new for 2013 um, yeah American made and the uh, Epiphone is Chinese made uh, okay, what sets these two apart, if you just look at them? Um, well, um, construction-wise, they are slightly different, actually. Uh, the body style is the same, but the SGG is thinner in every way. The body is thinner, and the neck is thinner as well. And... Um, uh, material wise they have both have uh, mahogany bodies uh, rosewood fingerboards but the american one has maple neck what do you know gibson what are you doing making good necks uh, it has a maple neck uh, the epiphone has the standard mahogany neck that a regular sg would use so well good things are happening um yeah, other than that, they have the same, I mean, same scale length. It's two pickups, same controls. Uh, the Epiphone actually is uh, superior because it has a uh, coil tap on its humbuckers. Something you don't find. Uh, the tuners are on the G Gibson one is uh, Clues and Deluxes and on the, S on the Epiphone one is... Wilkinson actually and Wilkinson are great things so yeah the Cluson ones are great as well I don't I'm not a big fan of these tulip styles tuners by the way I don't think they are very reliable as a whole um yeah um yeah the Gibson one has a standard tunematic bridge the Epiphone has its version called uh, what's it called yeah, the Epiphone has the lock tone. That's what it's called. The lock tone bridge. So it's actually a bit more solid. But uses less metal. It has less mass. Well, I suppose you're most interested in hearing how they compare in sound-wise. Uh, the Epiphone has uh, the Alnico Classic Pro pickups. And the Gibson has a set of 490 pickups. In this horrible, horrible black cover. I don't know what you were thinking. It doesn't look good at all. Remove it. How about open coils? That looks cool on every guitar. Okay, I'm gonna start. For once, I'm gonna start with the expensive one. So it'll be the Gibson first. And here uh, it is on a clean sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah, let's try the Epiphone one. Um, yeah, they have very different kinds of finishes, by the way. The, uh, the Gibson one is very satin, uh, non-glossy, very non-glossy finish. And the Epiphone has the most glossy finish you can get. It's like a mirror. And that affects playability. Because um, they, I don't know. It just feels like it's a thick layer of something on the upper phone. Well, here it is on a clean sound, by the way. Yeah, and as they both have working uh, controls for a change, uh, I've turned down the tone knob a bit on the neck pickup on both of them. Okay, and let's try a more high gain sound, and I will stop uh, or the finish with a E tone on the A string to see how the sustain is, if that's close or comparable between the guitars so yeah here we go with the Gibson one Okay, and uh, finally the Epiphone on the high gain sound.
Okay, there you have it. Uh, well, the upper phone didn't stand much chance on the sustain test this time. Hmm. Maybe I should try another note. Um, yeah, uh, I should mention the I'm always complaining about the Epiphone pickups, but the new Al Nico Classic Pro are actually doing things right because all the other ones have lacked treble, and these are actually quite good. Epiphone, you're doing better. You're doing better. You're on your way. Um, I mean, playing wise, yeah, it when you go from the satin neck to the glossy neck it feels like you're it's really sticky it feels like you're like stuck on the neck sometimes um but on the other hand this wears off after a while and gets you a nice classic feeling um you can even use some sandpaper on it to make it more playable but the and again it's up to you to decide which do you like most. Um, they are about, uh, this is about half the price of the Gibson one. So there you have it. This is uh, like in the high range of Epiphone and the SGG from uh, Gibson is in the low price range. Yeah, hope you found this useful. Enjoy. See you soon.